I am recording. Howdy. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain cry. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today I am here with my lovely wifey Cheyenne. Howdy. And <laughs> I know it's the scary. Yes. And I am doing this makeup today on her. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. It turned out pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Um, but yeah. Basically, this is me and my drag persona, Nadia. Mm. Her full name is Nadia Von Com. It's a lot. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. And um, I am, I can't, I literally. She's had one too many shots. <laughs> one too, not her, naughty. I was wondering who you were talking about. I can't talk about you. Cause this is like, you just were like, fuck it, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I feel like a potato next to her glammed out face cause I was too lazy to put on makeup. I am french fries. That's what I am. This is a McDonald's inspired look. So you are me when I'm cut up into a million pieces? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Okay. Anyway, uh, keep on watching to hear us talk like idiots. There will be foul language because I'm I'm not wasting time editing out all of the cuss words that we said. Demonetized. <laughs> Um, I don't even monetize my videos. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I know it's become a lie, but I promise more will be coming. You might see more of this too. Yes, there's gonna be a lot of her being featured as well as our lovely child Jojo who will probably make an appearance. That's gonna be a fun video. When, uh, That's yeah. gonna be a lovely time. That's gonna be a great time. You're gonna love her. Oh my god. Um, and uh, <laughs> like this video if you like us or this look or yeah, just like it because it makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, my <laughs> right. And don't forget to comment down below what is your favorite drag queen. I'm gonna put that in. Yeah, you have to tell us what your favorite drag queen is. It'll make sense if you keep watching this video. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace, and love. Do the other part of the heart. Aww, bye. I gotta reach. Hi, everybody. I'm the lovely wife. Oh, God. I'm actually, I have to turn that so I know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm gonna sit proper. I'm gonna... For like two seconds. <laughs> My toasted palette. Wait, what happened to you? Where did you go? <laughs> Breathe, honey. <laughs> Put your eyes in your mouth, said it. You can open your eyes when I'm not. I don't know. I thought you were still looking at me. What's the song you're playing most right now? Right now, it's a tie between Crying for Time from George Michael or it's Paint It Black with the Sierra cover. Oh, that Sierra cover is bomb. I will happily just start rambling off if I have to. Go ahead and ramble off. Tell us about your favorite movie. What's your favorite movie of all time? My f of all time? Oh my god, oh. there's like so many. Yes, I'm torturing you right now. But the one I was telling you about earlier, Too Long Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar. Oh my god. And seeing Patrick Swayze in drag is like my ultimate like dream. He looks better than me in makeup. <laughs> It's Patrick Stewart, the man can do no wrong. And the world to me.
I have a feeling you might hate me for what I'm about to do. Are you gonna use pink? No. <laughs> Everyone just see the disdain on my face. <laughs> Not pink. What? I'm so scared. I'm shaking. <laughs> Don't shake. It's not. You gonna be okay? What? What you gonna use? really want to do a tutorial based on like the seven deadly sins. Oh, I've just, seen those before. <gasps> like, the whole like makeup inspired from them. Mm -hmm. And I think that is going to be fierce. No, because that wing actually looks like shit. <laughs> actually looks like actual shit. So I'll be back. That. Intermission, people. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna put this up whether it looks like shit or not. I mean, I got this all for a fun time. That is true, but I technically am supposed to be making a living doing this. You see? And so you can learn. Okay, now for the lashes, ma'am. Oh God, help my soul. Yeah, we just watched Happy Death Day, and this girl's name was legit it's like Tree. <laughs> What? Tree. My name's Tree. Like, that conversation is just like... Did they just decide that, you know, let's pick a random weird name? Tree. And then, like, that has to be the weirdest name that I've seen in a movie. Whoever today. got paid enough to do that, we're like, you're my spirit animal. <laughs> like... Like, I feel you. I feel you. Like, I wonder I'm how sorry. much they got paid. They were like, we need a name that's not so basic. And then just one day, this guy was like, bam, tree. And you're like, here's a million dollars. If they got a million dollars for naming your character tree, um, we're living life wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I told you what I wanted to name, like, my future child, right? No, tell me. So whenever I have a son, I want to name him Sage Jackson Rain. Oh. And like, is that like his first name? Is Sage. Okay, yeah, but like, <laughs> he's gonna have two middle names oh, because okay. the the whole name would mean to reign over God and His wisdom. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. And like, it's so funny whenever I tell someone that, and they're just like, "But why two middle names? Because his name's gonna be like awesome. Because he's gonna have the coolest name. What are you talking about? Okay." And like when I have a little girl, I want to name her Scarlet Rose Grace. So it's Red Rose of Grace. Which is why everything on social media is named Scarlet. <laughs> also, if you go on babynames.com and if you search the name Popo, like it's a legit name. If you go on babynames.com, search the name Popo, and it's gonna like a whole list of like the reasonings and stuff. Like, I'm so serious. Okay, don't, uh, not the PSA, don't name your child Popo. No. Just don't name them weird names. What country is that name derived from? I don't know. Like, what do you want to talk about? I'll leave it up to you right now. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna ask you some questions. How about that? Do it. Ask me some questions, girl. What got you into makeup in the first place? Well, that is a good story. <laughs> You're welcome. It's a, it's a story. So. Um, oh my hand. <laughs> hello, hello. So back in high school, mm -hmm. the day I turned 16, I got an e.l.f. palette, liquid eyeliner, and my driver's license. <laughs> and a dream was made! <laughs> and, um, I, I had had like one of the weird Ulta kits for a long time, mm -hmm. and I had done weird stuff. Like, I, like, didn't have, like, I didn't have a passion for it until it was high school, senior year. Mm -hmm. I remember it very clearly. I didn't get into the school musical. Let me put this on you. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get into the school musical, and I was like, instead of being sad and upset, mm -hmm. go work in the costume closet, which I was like a pro at working. Like, I was better than the costume chair. I'm just no tea, no shade, but <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so, with the costume chair, you basically had to do makeup as well. I would do like fast paced makeup, like it was like little shuffle horrors. So we were doing um, 
had to do like see, like like special effects makeup. Mm -hmm. And I, by the end of that, had really found a passion for doing makeup. Um, I even said, like, if I honestly, if I didn't participate in that, mm -hmm. there's no way I would be a makeup artist right now. There's no way. Um, maybe I would have found it down the road, but like I walked out of there like think like for me it was gonna be a profession. Like this is something that I was you know, didn't even think it was a possibility and then I was like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. This is like a job, like I can do this for a living. Right. And I just literally worked costume and makeup the rest of the year and I thanked my drama teacher in my speech I said um, thank you for not putting me in the musical because I think it just set me down my career path that I'll be going down the rest of my life <laughs> huh, you know oh no so that's how I got into makeup and the addiction just keeps coming <laughs> I see that just keeps coming strong just all the make all the makeups I got all the makeups friends but I'm very proud of you, though, for continuing with that passion and just like, just constantly like building on it, even though it can yeah. get very out of hand. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> but, like, very. I'm very proud of you. Though. Yeah. Because basically, I gave up my like true, true dream. I wanted to be a singer. Mm -hmm. And personal reasons and just the business of it all. I had to put it aside. Like, I just, that wasn't something that I could do. Mm -hmm. That's something I didn't want to do. Right. Um, I, you know, I knew myself too well to put myself in a position like that. So I had to, you know, find something else and <laughs> found makeup. I mean, it works though. It does work. So, I'm going to turn the question back on you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So, if you don't know, she's an artist. Of many forms. Yes. How did you get into art? So when I was growing up, there was always this underlining thing of, oh, you have to be, you know, this. You have to find something that you're good at. Mm -hmm. And everyone around me was either was good at sports, you know, singing, just all that, like, just really out there kind of thing. I'm so excited to fuck with your brows right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry. And when I was in like first grade, you know, there was always a thing of, oh, you know, find what you love and basically let it kill you, kind of, that weird kind of thing. Okay. So when like first grade came along and we were making like, things like silhouettes of ourselves. Oh, well, that's cool. And of course, another teacher would sketch it out for us, but we had to do the background. And that was where like my creativity really took off. <laughs> I'm sorry. And like just being able to find what I love and just putting random colors and seeing how they blended. It was kind of that start of something really kind of weird. And then as I got older I wanted to sketch more. I wanted to just draw. And then I got to like middle school era and one of our first assignments in art I only took one art class in mm -hmm. middle school. One. Like, it was, it was pure bullshit. And we had to pick a picture from one of the books and draw it out. So I chose the statue of, I think, Michael or David. Mm -hmm. And I drew it. And my teacher was like, oh, that's too big. But I drew it just the way it is in the picture. So I was like, oh, well, that's kind of a buzzkill. But fast forward to, like, high school was an art the entire like school like career at that time mm -hmm. and I just kept drawing and drawing and drawing and it kept elevating and then like two years ago I painted for the very first time Okay. It's new. <laughs> just new. <laughs> um, I painted for the very first time and it was like, okay, I'm really good at painting. I've never had an art like lesson lesson, mm -hmm. you know, like where someone actually sat down and taught me how to draw. I just did it. Whereas, you know, like in school, I was like, oh, well, you know, if you learned in school, you'll learn how to draw. No, it was more so just like, oh, here's some art projects, do it. So 
so I've never had an art lesson. I just do what I do, and then that's it. And then, like recently, I've just been like, been painting, been just doing whatever I can. I mean, now it's like, I have so many different talents of art, it's not even funny. Mm -hmm. I'm a writer, I paint, I draw, I I cook, I dance. There's <laughs> just, art's not even a term. It's just there. Oh, that's where it went. Uh -huh. <laughs> A lot of things are happening over in the corner. Wow, it fell three times, three times. I have to say like your story of like your art and everything, like, mm. first of all, this is my first time like hearing it in full. <laughs> I have not heard it in full and it's actually really incredible. I mean, believe it or not, when I was growing up, I just found this book the other day when I was cleaning my room. Mm -hmm. There's a book called Something Special. It's a kid's book. In this book, it's like a little raccoon family. Aww. And the little kid, like he was finding stuff that he was good at. He becomes a painter. I know, but it's like, this is like really ominous and creepy. Like, what, what in the actual hell? Are you sure that's your right color? Yeah. Cause look at your face. It's my actual color. It's not really bad lighting, that's all. Excuse me, ma'am, this is high quality lighting. I don't know what it is. I was gonna ask you, how did you start getting into special effects? Huh. <laughs> well. You had to do it for, okay, listen, they turned out looking like the Brazilian flag, but we had to make them look like they were infected mm -hmm. and they were turning into the plant. That was my first dabble. We literally were using like grease paint and like some old, <laughs> I know, we like were using that and like, you know, we had to, we had to use with what we had mm -hmm. and we, <laughs> dear Jesus, we had to use the grease paint. We had some Ben Nye, but like we, did, we were running out of it. So that kind of started, and then I went to beauty school, and in beauty school they do teach you how to do special effects makeup, mm -hmm. but, and basically, you know, that's when I met Kyoto, because mm -hmm. um, we were going to beauty school together, and Kyoto worked at the haunted house for like, I think she was on like her third year or something, mm -hmm. and so she kind of brought me along to it the year that we met. Mm -hmm. It's weird though, because like, I got into special effects by just doing it. <laughs> like, I was like, I wonder if I could do this, and then I just did it. And then you're just, you're just like a miracle woman, just mm -hmm. like, you're just like, yeah, I just want to try this, and then you become like world renowned at it, and you're like, what? It's like, <laughs> good example, the Olympics. One day you're just like, I want to try figure skating. All of a sudden you'd be an Olympian, like, what? Out of nowhere. Out of freaking nowhere. Well, it was so funny because when I got the job at Reapers, it was because I showed the High Dukes. I showed, I think, Phil first, like the makeup I do. And then he was like, oh, go show my brother. <laughs> so I, I showed him because he works there, you know, does construction and stuff. And then he was like, he's like, oh, go apply. <laughs> I was like, all right. So I went to go apply. And then thus, you know, two years later, hey, look at that. Look at where you are. You're working at Reaper's Room. Probably not this year then. Please work this year. I'm like, I'm gonna beg you and plead with you. Like, I need you, okay? <laughs> I don't think you need me that much. I do need you that much. At least I need you that much, okay? Because what am I gonna do if Cheyenne's not there? Like, <laughs> you can continue to be badass at makeup. That's okay, well that's great, but who's gonna be there to talk me down? <laughs> From all your little panic attacks. Yeah, from those little, those little gems of the world that I am given. This is her natural bone structure. It is. It really is. I don't do anything for this. Do you see my salty ass face? It's very salty. But I thought he was coming to rip us a new asshole. Oh, he's not. Listen, drag queens and James and James are my life. Like, no kidding. Yes. If you love drag queens like we do, 
you'll fit perfectly right in. Come mm -hmm. on, come and join us, you know. <laughs> come through, my lad, come through. Believe it or not, when I was growing up, like, mm -hmm. I felt like I had a bunch of knowledge of drag queens. And I, like, think that's because of Divine. <laughs> <laughs> and watching Two One Two when I was younger. Like, I had no idea what this movie was about. I saw it on TV once, and I was like, you know, I know who Julia Dumar is. She's Catwoman. So, like, you know, I'm gonna go, like, watch this. And then just seeing Patrick Swayze in drag was, like, my ultimate fantasy right there. I was like, I love this. Like, I want more of this. Of course, you know, my dad's always like, oh my god, why? You can't, like, you can't uh, turn me over. I love drag queens. Have you ever baked your face? Yeah. I think I'm gonna bake your contour. That that was a weird sentence. I don't know why. My brain could not compute that for like two seconds. Let's <laughs> make a contour. And then like cupcakes popped into my head and I was like, that's wrong. <laughs> I'm supposed to be a makeup artist. What is life? Ah, uh, well you're a makeup artist and a baker, so. <clears throat> I'm the mom friend. She is the mom friend. If you need to go shopping for anything, take her with, cause she will tell you not to buy. And I she's, save money. She's always correct. Always oh, Geico. <laughs> <laughs> I just sometimes like can't, I just, can you smile? <laughs> this is only highlight one, okay. One, there's a second one. Let it happen. Oh wait, no. Maybe there might not be a second one. That's a really freaking pretty on you. <laughs> there might not be another one. There might be like ten. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I sing Indiana Jones when I need the time to go by faster. I might be a little psychotic. <laughs> No, because I sing the happy birthday song, so you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one is worse. Uh -oh. bad that all I can see is like fucking tree. <laughs> <laughs> and like just her makeup just <laughs> running down her face and I'm not seeing she's trying to pop with car. <laughs> oh my god. I hate you so much. I d the one where she like like assaults him and then he takes her to go get a drink. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> oh, this is fine, you know. I'm just gonna like I'm getting killed. <laughs> every single day on my birthday. Like, yay. Remind me to take off your bake. <laughs> yeah, take off my bake. When you get a chance. <laughs> let's do that right now before I actually forget. <laughs> Wait, let's not take it off of that one though. Oh. <laughs> Nothing actually did absolutely nothing. Okay, <laughs> what a waste of time. <laughs> but whatever. But no, this, seriously, this is like my all-time favorite color. And I also hate um, lining lips, so we just were putting it on. Just like cream. <laughs> just like what? Cream. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it, it, it smells like crayon. That's what it smells. Vanilla. Yeah, it does smell like it. Like it's like it claims to have a vanilla scent, but it's, it's not that that strip crayon. Yeah. Is that what I've been paying seventeen dollars for? Uh-huh. Mac Cosmetics goes out of business because two girls found out that they were using crayons. Um. I love MAC Cosmetics, but that is so great. <laughs> that is so great. I just, so great. Do you know how long it's gonna take me to edit this video? A lot. Yeah, like five years. We're gonna have literally be married with children before this video comes out. That's fine. <laughs> okay, what else did I wanna do? Oh, I wanna reveal it to you. Cause you're gonna hate it. <laughs> I can't even see me because you moved in there. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I don't know how to respond. Except I look like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel? Like, 
I just got off the boat from Mardi Gras and then someone gave me way too many shots and my makeup's still on. Pretty accurate. <laughs> one half of the chair and I'm gonna sit on the other. That works. That's how we're gonna do it. That works. That's how we're gonna do it up in here. Okay.